It's a controversial policy critics say threatens an already fragile peace process. Israeli media are reporting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is given the go-ahead for construction of a thousand new housing units in parts of East Jerusalem. According to Israel's Channel 2 News, the settlement construction is designed to appease right-wing members of Netanyahu's coalition government. But his critics on the left condemn the news, with the Labor Party saying Netanyahu is selling the political interests of the state of Israel for a few months on the Prime Minister's chair. So far, there's been no comment from the Prime Minister's office on the reported deal. But if true, it would mark another setback for the Palestinians who want to establish a future state in this land. Israel maintains its housing construction is legal, and the half a million Israelis who have settled there have a right to do so. Most of the international community disagrees and sees the settlement building as an obstacle to peace. That includes close ally the United States, which has in the past been vocal about its opposition. Uh, this development will only draw condemnation from the international community, distance Israel from even its closest allies, poison the atmosphere. The timing of the settlement reports is far from ideal. Tensions are still simmering from this summer's 50-day war in Gaza. And in the past week, parts of Jerusalem have seen increased clashes between Israeli police and Palestinians, with militant group Hamas going as far as to declare a third intifada. The riots came after a Palestinian man drove his car into a group of pedestrians last week, killing an infant and an Ecuadorian woman. A senior Palestinian Authority official told reporters Israel's housing plans would cause an explosion of violence. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.